What's going on, you guys? I'm 100 million. I'm a day trader, and this is Indicator Review. Today, we're going to be talking about Karma Algo by Karma Options. Out on Twitter, uh, you can find him at Karma Options as well, by the way. I'll uh, tag his Twitter in the, uh, the description. I was going to say the comments, but that's for you, <laughs> that's for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So, <clears throat> just pop up my Twitch chat here as uh, just to take up this space here. I also did make some notes for this, so bear with me. But let's just look at a few examples, okay, of um, what this indicator is. So essentially, I got all my lines uh, charted out here. My uh, ORB 100 was, I think on this day it was 30, uh, 305.96 and then 303.75, which of course, uh, bounced and rejected perfectly, I might add. But anyway, uh, the Karma Algo indicator is actually just this L right here, okay? Uh, it's green, and L stands for long. Now, on the reverse side, there will be an S, and it'll be red, and S stands for short. Now, we've seen a lot of these indicators. Um, they were very popular and they, they actually are still very popular for new and uh, newer traders. However, there's a lot of problems with, uh, with these indicators, a lot. And so we're going to kind of look at Karma Algo and how it sort of sets itself, uh, you know, outside the pack of what these indicators have become and what they kind of do for retail traders. Okay. So we have this setup here, right? Now, I'm using my two levels. This is my calls over level, the 305.96, and my puts under, the 303.75. Now, one thing that I do like to use my levels for on occasion is for bounces, which, of course, dig, uh, it did take place here a little bit, right? <clears throat> and so I find it really interesting that Karma Algo actually came in and only gave one signal and said long. And it's like, okay. So if I'm trading my regular strategy already, I have another piece of confluence immediately. Now, I don't know exactly um, what is within the indicator itself. We haven't gotten to the guts of it yet. And I would like to have Karma on to talk about that. So Karma, hit me up, baby. Um, but maybe we can cover that one day. Well, what exactly went into this and how it does what it does? Because it is very interesting. But we have this perfect long right here. So it's actually pointing at this candle inside here. Right next to this one, I maybe would have longed off my uh, pre, uh, my uh, my puts level. I, I could have taken a long off that. Uh, but then Karma Algo steps in and then it rips this up. Right here, this, this looks small, but this would be like on a zero DTE, which I trade, this would be like 20 to 40%, something like that. Really, really good move. Um, solid if you put in you know a decent size uh, position uh, you're making somebody else's paycheck you know what i mean so that is the first sort of example i'm going to show you guys it also comes with these two bars so you have this red bar here this box and you have this green box down here now i believe i haven't confirmed this with him this is just what i've been noticing uh this is basically supply and demand as far as i can tell okay and it's automatically charted by karma algo and it comes near, look where it rejects perfectly, right in that supply. And where did it bounce? Right in that demand. So now I have my levels, a long um, signal, and this demand zone. So all of a sudden, you're starting to stack up. And you also have Sadie's ATR level here too, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's get into the next screenshot here. Okay, I'm watching you, Karma Algo. <laughs> so this is another example of something that's maybe... Uh, a little rougher, not as nice. Uh, I didn't want to show just like all the best examples, but it is still impressive. Okay. Um, if you, so this is actually an example of where you might, it might not work out. It might, you might actually stop out. So you have this candle here. Um, it's actually giving a long on that candle. I am on the five minute chart. Um, and it, and it shoves down pretty hard here right onto the, uh, ATR level, uh, from Sadie. And then it kind of rebounds and comes back up and then it triggers the sell. So it begs the question, is the intention of the algo to strictly use the algo with uh, basically buy and sell signals or short and uh, cover? 
or are we left to scale out and stop out on our own? And my personal opinion is that's on you as a trader, okay? If you're gonna long rate right here, that's on you. That's not because this algo might have calculated along there, right? And that's some of the problems you get into with some of these buy and sell algos. But that being said, uh, this has a lot less signals than a ton of those algos that you see, those buy and sells, okay? Um, so this trade in particular, I would not have longed this trade, <laughs> no shot, because you're right at uh, one of the ATR levels, which I, I truly respect as a trader. Um, so I, I personally wouldn't have touched it. And then it, it nails back down. Uh, maybe this is demand zone. I didn't do any charting on this. This is just indicators. Uh, and then it comes back up. So literally, if it just hit this candle here, it would have been absolutely perfect. But you have this nice short, which you would have made a little bit of money on. Uh, and then it comes back up. You take another long right here, and then it rips up right to the VPOC level. This red line is my volume shelf. So that is another indicator I use. That is where, excuse me, I would be personally scaling out on these premium pushes right here. Okay. And it comes back down. There's a short signal. We don't see how it works out. Uh, but it the price actually does move down in general. So uh, you could say like, okay, maybe it's a 5% gain or something of that nature. So I'm, I'm going to give this a three out of four on this one right here. This one, not so good. These two, not bad, especially if you're a scalper day trader like myself. Uh, now let's go to something that I've never seen before. This, this was absolutely insane today. The market did something very crazy. Uh, I believe, what was it, PPI released or something? I don't know, probably. Uh, but anyway, two alerts. Actually, there was three, but we can check that in a second. Two alerts all day long. This goes all the way to like, look, this is three o'clock right here. So this is like 3.30, okay? And then this is like 10 o'clock. Uh, I, I'll confirm with you now, there was no, well, I can show you, but there is none at the open. There are two signals, long on this candle and short on this candle. That is insane to me, okay? This was a stupid game. This just ripped up, okay? You have all these kind of buying wicks here as well for some confluence. Once again, I did not do any charting on this. This is only Karma Algo and uh, my volume profile, which is this red line where we chop around. Okay, look at this push up. I'd be scaling out into here and I would probably miss all of this. I'd, I'd be out like here and I'd be like, I crushed it today, let's go. But anyway, that is a crazy trade. And then you have this beast, okay, of a short right here. There were multiple, multiple reasons to get into this short, by the way. So I'm not gonna say like, you know, this was the only, uh, indicator that that caught this as a short. You can call this a double top right here. You got your two peaks, uh, your neckline, which just slid right down. Neckline was actually the volume shelf as well, which is interesting. However, we need to think about this. If it was like the only indicator you, you were using and you were just a dumb idiot, okay? Just an average Joe. If you bought right here and you sold up here and then shorted here, <laughs> you might have just 10 x your account. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But this is actually insane. I've never seen ever any single buy or sell signal do something like this. That's crazy. For a buy and sell signal indicator to only have three alerts all day long is insane on the five minute chart. I find that a little bit nutty. Okay, so uh, just to recap a little bit, Essentially, this indicator, it calls longs and shorts. Uh, the problem with most buy and sell indicators that they do, uh, is that they have too many signals. Uh, on occasion, maybe 60 to 80% of the time using this indicator, you will have to scale out of long or short positions as it will occasionally miss premium pushes where contract price increases exponentially for good gains. Okay, and by that, I mean, uh, you know, what I showed you guys before. Um, and actually for that screenshot as well, it didn't tell you to scale out, right? Which is fair. And I think that's where a lot of the buy sell algos start to screw up. Maybe too many signals scaling out should be on the trader. In my opinion, you guys should be taking the money. <laughs> like, what are you waiting for? Do you want the money? It's there. You can have it. If you want, it's up to you. Uh, and then the short signal here, obviously if, if you're just a brain dead caveman, okay a neanderthal 
if you will, you would sell here and still make a shitload of money, okay? Uh, and then short here, if you're just following the S, and you're gonna make another crazy sum of money. All right, um, so I find that very interesting. This is an example where it works out. Uh, this is one where it doesn't, oh, not that one. This is an example of one where it doesn't work out as well. So you are going to want to uh, still manage your stop outs, um, your, your scale outs and stuff like that, okay? Uh, this works very, very well for a ton of blue chip stocks. I didn't particularly like it that much for my bread and butter QQQ. Um, however, obviously, especially, you know, considering today, I do really like it for SBX. Uh, sorry, I, I might've called this SBX. They move the same. This is ES. It's the, uh, the futures, like the E-mini futures. Uh, basically, SBX mimics this. Um, it works very well for the futures, very well for SBX, uh, SPY, um, and stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, uh, you know, things of those natures, the blue chips, right? QQQ, I, I, you know, it's been pretty good, pretty good. Now, let's just take a look at it. Okay, this is Apple. This is today. You know, all that craziness that went on. It didn't catch the open, which is fine. Probably because the op it opened up right at the volume shelf. So you open up, you have all this chop right here. And then it pops up, comes back, and it does sort of a break in base off of this previous high. So you could actually chart uh, a little supply and demand level here. You actually pull it all the way over here as well. There's a bit of a zone here, right? Because you have this high, uh, this sort of choppiness. You actually pull it down a bit. Whatever, like this. Something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So this popped back down into the zone and then Karma, uh, Karma, Karma Algo. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> fix, fix the name. No kidding. Uh, long it in this demand zone. You know, that was the signal. And then look what happened. This thing ripped up. Now, let's ignore today because obviously today, you know, today was juicy. It was very, very juicy. And just before we leave it, I do want to show you SPX really quick. We're on Apple. Go back to Apple. There was... Sorry, ES. ES1. I believe there were three indicators. Sorry, three signals. Uh, when was the end of the day? So yeah, you would be trading this. You'd be trading up to like four, four o'clock, 4.30, somewhere around here. So it did have one more long that actually probably would have stopped you unless you sold into this wick and you're, you know, but once again, it's, it's 340. So, uh, after all this craziness, if, you, if you're already up huge on the day, but anyway, it called it up, called it down, uh, called it up again. You could have scalped this, but probably would have taken it for a loss. Uh, and then this, you wouldn't have even traded. So that's once again, two out of three, that's a really decent win rate just for especially considering there are only three uh, signals. So let's go back to Apple for a minute and just kind of go back a bit and then we'll we'll rate this thing, okay? Uh, previous day, let's have a look. So, we, uh, you know, this popped up in the open, right out of the demand. Uh, by the way, these boxes are also part of the, uh, the algo. Comes with it. This is automatically charted. I can show you right now. Watch. See? Okay, so that is just additional for fun. So this popped up into the supply and it said sell. So you short that, come back down here, it says long. You buy it back and you long. Comes up here, sell. You sell everything you have and you short again. Comes back down right into here. Let's say for some reason you didn't sell into this demand for some reason and it comes back up. Uh, long, you still made a profit. Okay, might not have been as much, but you still made a profit. Comes back up, you sell and you short. Uh, it might have been break even. You buy it back, and then you're probably done for the day because you're not going to trade, um, you know, that close to the end of the day. At least I wouldn't, just the way that I trade. The day before that, okay, market opens. It sells off. It says long. All right, probably because of this previous demand right over here. You long comes up here. You sell profit, uh, and you short comes down here. I would be selling into this as a fat candle personally. I'd be almost full out, especially on this. This is insane. That's a win to me. You should be managing your own trade, even though it tells you when to enter. Uh, and then long, short. The short might not work, might have been break even. And then long, the end of the day, you'd be out right here. Right? So I'm going to give this thing a pretty high win rate, in my opinion. And once again, this is extremely different 
than every other buy and sell indicator. I can't tell you that enough. It's extremely different. The other ones are crap. So let's get into the meat and potatoes, okay? We're not doing the 20 EMA. We're doing Karma. Algo. All right. Let me delete all these scores. So the total, by the way, I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to pull it over here. The total is out of 25. All right. So for profitability, I gave it a four out of five. Okay. I think this thing is very profitable, but there is that uh, you need to manage your own trade at the same time. So I think it is very easy to make money with this indicator, but uh, it does still rely, I'd say like 40% on you. Okay. Learning curve. How difficult is it to learn and uh, sort of navigate? I also gave that a four. Okay. And I did this for a very specific reason, which I didn't talk about yet. I, I don't think maybe I did, but this indicator, okay, only works on the five minute charts. And I think karma said it works on the, on the daily chart as well, but I don't swing trade. You can swing trade with this thing apparently, but on the five minute chart, sometimes what I noticed is that it'll put out a signal while the candle is forming and then take it away and then put it out and take it away. And that is one of the big issues I have with indicators like this is I, you know, because new traders are going to come in, they're going to see that flash open and they're going to instantly slap it. And then maybe it keeps going, right? You never know. Like, I don't like it shows two triggers on Apple on this day. How many were forming while the price actually was live? I don't know. I think we can actually check if I do this. And let's just see. Long. You probably break even right there. That's crazy. Maybe even red. But you're definitely not red now. And you'd, you'd be out there. Okay, now short. Okay, yeah, really good example. So in that case, it didn't do it. I wish I, I knew the one I was talking about, but I'm pretty, or maybe, I don't know. It, I feel like it was so long ago that I don't remember. Let me try it on this day, just for, uh, for another example. Long. God, I'd definitely be out there. I would have sold the VPOC. Short signal, sell. Okay, perfect. You know what? I, I actually don't think it'll do it because of how the candles are forming in the replay. It's not showing the live price action. So, you know, you take my word for it. You don't have to take my word for it. Maybe we can clarify with karma, but I'm pretty sure I did witness it kind of flash the signal, take it away. Not a big deal. Uh, so for that reason, um, the difficulty, uh, sorry, the, that, that's also into why the learning curve is four out of five. As for the difficulty, I put, uh, it's, it's got a perfect score. This thing is not difficult to use. It's actually extremely easy. Literally just buy and sell when it tells you to, which is absolutely insane. Okay. And as for an overall score, I am going to give it the highest score I've ever given any of these indicators so far. It's going to get a nine. Okay. This thing is really, really awesome, guys. <laughs> yeah. You absolutely have to try it. Um, by the way, if you do want it, uh, let me show you where to get it. Go to Twitter, okay? If you don't have a Twitter, just create one. It takes two seconds. And then go to Karma Algo like this and hit this button, message, and just inquire. It says automated. Um, Karma Options does actually run this account. Shout out Karma Options, obviously, the GOAT, okay? Check them out. So that's a four, a four, a five, and a nine overall. That is actually gonna bring us the highest score we've had on the show yet. A 22 out of 25, which is near perfect. Okay. Obviously, you know, if it was perfect, I'd be a billionaire. I'd be doing this, but like on a yacht, you know what I'm saying? Instead, I just have this plan, which is real and real plants are actually cheap. <laughs> They're not expensive, <laughs> but anyway, got a 22 out of 25. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. 
thank you guys for listening. There's gonna be another one of these out next Friday. I got one out coming on the, it's gonna be on the 20 EMA. I'm just gonna pop it out. I don't really care about that one. But anyway, check out Karma Options on Twitter. Check out Karma Algo. I think you guys are gonna really, really like that one. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I love and appreciate you. Uh, catch me on Twitch too, by the way. Twitch.tv slash 100 underscore million. Like and subscribe. Bro, we're almost at 1,000 subs on the channel. Can we get to 1,000? We're at like 820. So let's get it. I love you guys. See you in the next one. 100 out.